Ladies and gentlemen, this is a beautiful view. Every time I come down to the post office, I get the beautiful view of Fort Fort Mountain, Georgia. Uh, a official campground. Uh, very cool. Been up there many times. Oh, does it get cold up there? Uh, speaking of which, it's only 60 degrees. Today's high was supposed to be 58. Got up at 4 o'clock this morning, it was 39 degrees. Pretty early for that time of, uh, or that type of temperature this time of year. But uh, I'm going to pick up some stuff from the post office, and we got a big day ahead, so hang out, man. This is where it's at. It's going to happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the deal. I was sent on a mission to find a Netta. But I see somewhat what you may say would be the next best thing because they are uh, roommates uh, with Mr. Lamar. And he is standing at the ever famous, what they call the triangle, which is like, uh, I, guess you could, I guess you could say it's equivalent to the, uh, you know, Broadway, uh, you know, the Monopoly game. You know, uh, never mind. Anyways, I got to talk to him. At least see what the status is with Anetta. Plus, I have, if you remember from some previous videos, he's been robbed three times in the last year. And I have a, a can of pepper spray for him uh, for self-defense because, I mean, let's be honest. I don't really believe the guy could fight his way out of a paper bag sad to say but I'm just telling you my thoughts Lamar we meet again sir okay it's 52 degrees and you're not cold okay but uh you're expanding your arsenal there yeah, because, you know, my beef bag got stolen in the cabbage farm bag. Yeah. Had, That's when you got robbed, eh? Yeah. So, somebody gave me that one, then somebody gave me that one. So. Fantastic. They look in fantastic, excellent condition. Because I couldn't fit everything, you know, in that one bag, so I had to split it up. Sure. How long you been out here, buddy? Uh, ever since about 8 o'clock this morning. Standing right here? We're here, and then sitting down there, too. Taking a break? Yeah. You know. All right. Hey, I got a water for you. All right. All right. Hey, have you seen Annetta by any chance? No. Uh, Don't you guys kind of like well, she live together, so to speak? Uh, we, she Sometimes she'll stay with her at the gym. And then sometimes she's got, there's this old man that we know. Uh, I didn't hear a word you said, the motorcycle. There's this old man that we know. Everybody, like all the homeless people knows him. His name is Mike, and he's got cancer. So sometimes she'll go over there and stay. Oh, and boy. Time, you know, when it's cold or something. Sure. Yeah, well, we've been getting plenty of cold evenings. Oh, you yeah. know, No doubt. I just can't get over the fact your feet are your feet are basically purple, my friend. But, hey, that's entirely up to you. But I did say that the next time I saw you, I would give you a can of pepper spray. Yes. Do you still feel that you're... Uh, you know, you're a threat of getting robbed? Yeah. Because you're not a... Uh, I, I, I can just tell by your demeanor that you're not a violent type guy. All right. So, but here is a police grade pepper spray. All right. It's very simple. You slide the lever over, bam, ready to go. All right. So it's got a locking system so you don't spray yourself. All right. Believe me, I've done it. Not fun. You hungry, man? Yeah. Um, you want to take a quick break off the, yeah. off the triangle here? All right, you want me to help you carry some? Yeah, I got it. All right. Well, I guess your waters will probably be there when you get back. Those ain't mine. There's somebody else's. Oh, okay. They left up here yesterday. You guys doing going shifts? <laughs> All right, let's not let's uh <laughs> let's not get hit. Yeah. All right. No, no, we, this window of opportunity is limited. We could play dodgeball. Yeah, dodge car like Frogger. <laughs> Playing some Frogger. Yeah. All right, man. Well, how you been otherwise? Uh, I've been doing good. Not too much. Not too much. Not too much. And once again, you got a lot of. Do, how often do you get like gift cards? Uh, every now and then. 
I mean, I mean, if, if there's anything possible, if you could uh, maybe get, I, could, I needed a, a gift card for Walmart for some things. Well, what do you need? Like, you know, like, I was going to buy bread and stuff to make sandwich with at the camp. Okay. Maybe drinks and stuff like that. Sure. Okay. Now, you don't get EBT? No. Uh, I had went and signed up for it, and uh, they told me that they were going to give me a call. But I had to go back up there yesterday and tell them that, you know, I don't have no phone because my phone got stolen. Right. So they're going to send a letter out down to Greater Works. Robert Hill let me use the address down there. Sure. And so whenever the letter comes in to let me know when my appointment, okay. I had to go back What up. about Annetta? She don't get food stamps either. They won't let her have it. Something about in her past or something, she owed them or something, I don't know. Okay. Well, that's beyond my my knowledge base right um but yeah i can get you a few things you know yeah. um i guess we can immediately start with a lunch yeah you know how many people are in your camp when you say you, you need to get supplies for the camp how many well, are it, in the it's camp not like for everybody it's just like for me over there in my tent that i stay in like for me in the netta that uh -huh. I stay you know in the same tent but it's just me and her usually over there and sometimes it's just me by myself yeah okay you guys got a way of protecting your goods? Yeah. I see uh I see someone occupied your territory over there. Yeah, he can have it. Jason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I just glanced over and saw him. All right, well let me set you up with a lunch, man. Right. Immediately if not sooner. It just cracks me up. It's like 40 oh, 52 degrees and you're in bare feet, man. I just can't get over that. That cracks me up. Look, back in 93 when we hit that 93 blizzard, my mom pulled a video out. A uh, couple of months back and show all of us how we act in the snow. I was out there with a pair of Daisy Duke shorts on. You were 20 years old. Yeah. No shirt on, no shoes on out there in the snow. And the snow was deep. I was just out there late. All right. Laughing. Well, I will say this I'm getting some, I'm, I'm working with a, a family, a, a close family to my channel called the Bulldog family. And they're, uh, they're very helpful. They've been following me ever since day one. And we're working on a giant plan for sleeping bags. Uh, we're getting some blankets, thermal socks, gloves, hats, you know, the whole nine yards. Hand warmers, oh, yeah. you know, that type of thing. So I want you to be ready. Plus, I, want to, I think I'm going to come over here soon and start making some, uh, you know, right there. I'm going to start heating up pots of chicken noodle soup and some chili. You know, I got bowls and crackers and drinks sure. and all that stuff. But let me set you up with a lunch, man. There you go. All right, thank you. Could you use a soft drink? Yes. Yeah. Um, you got any room to store that stuff? Oh yeah. Cause you're multi bagging it. Well, I got yeah. room. In this other bag. I've seen people room. with less luggage going to the airport. <laughs> you know. Well, you know me. Yeah. So. All right. So would you like a? Uh, I got a. Um, a Dr. Thunder. Or a regular, actually, I got a Yoohoo and a Kool Aid. Well, uh, Dr. Thunder, big fan. Dr. Thunder? Yes. I can make arrangements. <laughs> well, what time do you think Anetta would be here? I'm not sure because, like, yesterday, she wasn't here all day yesterday. You haven't seen her at all? No. Okay. But if she comes, it'll probably be later on this afternoon. Well, I mean, like, you guys well live together you yeah. know what's her normal schedule i mean is she out here at 10 o'clock in the morning sometimes she's out here at six o'clock in the morning sometimes. six o'clock yes yeah, and there has been days that she hit me out here two or three days in a row wow well tell her i have some specific items for her okay and uh you know i i i obviously saw you and i know that you're basically you know in her ear so to speak you know yeah. you're in contact you'll see her well well before i will oh, you know? yeah. but i wanted to give you that opportunity just to let her know All right. and i guess i'll be back you know i'll drive by again i'm gonna go down to uh you know the providence greater works area okay. just to see what's happening right. and uh i'll have to see what i can do um what do you what kind of lunch meat do you you, you say you're going to get some uh, bread and some lunch meat yeah and some like chips or something like that but like ham you you like a pack of sliced ham yeah okay and, and some bread yes you got any uh 
Do you got a way of keeping it fresh? You got a cooler? Uh, well, I got one of those little bitty small coolers, you know, uh -huh. like, it's got like the stripes on it, but it's not big enough to fit okay. you know, a lot of stuff in. Right. And then when you buy things in smaller quantities, it costs more. Like, you know, like a half a oh, loaf yeah. and then a six ounce, you know, pack of meat. You know, it's like the same as, almost the same as a full loaf with a, you know, 14 ounce pack of ham. Yep. But, uh, okay. Do you got any canned goods? Uh, yeah, uh, somebody who came by yesterday, he gave me two lots of canned goods. Okay. It's like, uh, you know, green beans, corn. Can you... What is it? Hold on. What is it with us and the exhaust? I don't know. They don't like us. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> you know. But, uh, I mean, can you open the cans? Uh, well, we've been taking... I've been taking a knife and doing it. Really? Because I don't have a can opener. So you don't have a can opener? No. To, you know, open can stuff with. And then some cans, you know, it's got that pop-up. Yeah, the pull tab. Yeah. All but right. you don't always get them like that. Hold on a second, my friend. All right. Okay, I want to show you something. Right. My friend Susan sent these. Okay. Have you ever seen one of these? This is called a P-51. This is military grade uh, issue. There was a P-38, which is slightly smaller. Mm -hmm. But this is a P-51, which is bigger. You see this little notch yeah. that's cut out? You put this on the rim of the can. This is your blade. Cut, 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 cut. And it's pocket size, and you can put it on a keychain. You can attach it to your book bag. All right. And that's for you, sir. All right. Thank you. My buddy uh, Susan sent that, and uh, um, another friend of mine, Dean, had sent. Uh, I think about 20 or so of the smaller version. They both do the same job, but that one's a little easier to work with. Right. It's called a P51. Okay. And it's pocket size, and it's it's easy to lose. Right. And I doubt anybody might, you know, rip that off from you, you know, beat you down, throw you down into the ground. Maybe they won't. But, uh, now you could actually, when you finish your Dr. Pepper, you can actually use that on the can right. just to practice it. But that'll open any can, right. whether it's, you know, a 10 pound can, a small can, any can. Right. That doesn't have the pull tab, obviously. Right. So that'll help you out because oh, yeah. if you've got food and you can't open it, you know, using the knife and a rock and a piece of wood or whatever, that's those days are over. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, that's old school. But uh, what does your sign say, sir? It just says, "Please help." Anything with okay. you? Okay. Obviously, you got your hands full. <laughs> but uh, all right. Whose garbage is this? You know, I don't even know. All right. Well, I'm gonna take care of it. Oh uh, well, I don't know. It's pretty gross. It's leaking something or other. Yeah. There is probably one of the homeless people threw it down. Well, it's, I don't know, it's got, it, I don't know what it is. There's a garbage can right there. Yes, there is. What's up, Dale? Oh, hey. I guess, uh, I guess somebody couldn't walk that extra 20 feet in order to throw that garbage away. Right. You know, it seems kind of senseless to me. But uh, if you see a nettle, let me know. Oh, really? Because uh, I have a... seen her. Where'd you see her at? She's headed over to Greg's house. Oh, okay. Well, man, she'll probably come back this way. Okay. She does all the killing Well, I'm going to be... Uh, like I said, I'm going to run down downtown. Then I got to get back because I got to go bring my mom. She got to come here, actually. She's getting dressed and showered. That'll take like three hours. You know, for her, uh, she got to get a new meter for her diabetes. You know, okay. it's a uh, from total, you know, it's a, a diabetic reader. It's a yeah. device. You know, puts up to her arm and it tells her her glucose. What a what a great thing, man! How cool! All right, well, I'll let you get back to it. I see, uh, Mr. Jason vacated. So. Yeah. I go had, nibble on some stuff, man. I had to go knock Got on. some good grub there. <laughs> What's new, Dale? Well, not the same old, same old, just yeah. another day. Yeah. Got a little colder. But I am getting a bunch of uh, winter gear. Hats, gloves, hats, gloves, sleeping now, bags. Geez, this morning I yeah. rode my bike, my hands. Yeah. Rose, dude. I, I, I believe it. No, it was it was cold. It was below 40. I think if, well, if I had a pair of gloves, I'd be finished. Yeah. I actually, but, pulled my, I actually pulled my sleeve down out. Right. That's why I was hanging out there. That's a nice leather. Jacket. Yeah, hey, look, I was in over like two days or last night, matter of fact, and uh, I 
Mr. Pull up here to me. He said, you oh, some guy just gave it to you? Yeah, he said, you look cool. This is a little bit of little. Oh, that fits perfect. And, uh, and, uh, he, he, well, that's he, convenient. He got that receipt. He said, well, yeah, I'll take that. And he actually gave me two rotisserie chicken. He gave you the receipt. No, two ro He gave me this, and he got that receipt. You know, it was laying in the seat. He ended this. I said, yeah, I'll take that coat, this. And then he said, here, you take this. And he gave me two rotisserie chickens. Oh, yeah? At the Walmart, they was like, oh, yeah, let me yeah, those were just are pretty good. Yeah, well, you also have yeah. eat chicken for 30 minutes, yeah. <laughs> My mom gets those when she makes a, a big-ass pot of chicken noodle. Yeah, and well, it's it's to die for. It's the best chicken noodle ever made. Well, my grandma, or it ain't my grandma, kid's grandma. I call her grandma because they call her grandma. But uh, she makes chicken and dumplings out of it. And she yeah. sit there and, you know, kill it and make that. Oh, yeah. man, that stuff you ever eat. It's a multi-hour process. I love, yeah, well, I love dumplings. So. Yeah. Anyway, all I, right. I well, uh, I need the you know. I mean, I got I, I got, got one pair left of the thin because, like I said, I'm getting some new. I I, I'm getting prepared now. for the I winter. Three days. <laughs> you need some heavier duty or you know heavy duty foot care. But aren't you staying? <laughs> aren't you staying in a house? No, I stay in that gym back there. I go to grandma's and cook out or something on weekends and watch football. But I don't stay there because I mean the house is full. All right. Yeah, I call her grandma. She's really mother, adopted mother. She adopted me. But All right. I, the kids, my twins, call her grandma. That's why I call her grandma. I am grandma. But you got some twin kids? Yeah, they're boy and a girl. The boys in the navy, and the girls over there. Are they up and coming Quaker Oat stars? Well, they they're nineteen. <laughs> they're <laughs> boy and a girl. I'm just teasing, you, buddy. Yeah. It's like. All right. Yeah, I you know. I was probably doing shit I shouldn't have been doing back then. You know. Well, we've all done something we shouldn't have. You know. <laughs> but hey, I love my kids. I love them dead. That's I got fantastic. That grandbaby over there. That she's got a little grandbaby and fixing to have another baby. How, how old is your grandbaby? Uh, like 16 months. and then she 16 fixed, months? Wow. Yeah, she's fixing to have another one. She ain't got no husband, no boyfriend. You know. Oh, no. Got to love her daddy in there, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I got you. That. I, I, mean, I, I got you, brother. My son, though, the, the boy, he, he, he went to the Navy, man. He uh, graduates. Yeah. Uh, December the 10th. Graduates from, they put him in college because he's passed the course of Heimlet Is he in the, they like, the Heimlet. officer school? The, he scores a Heimlet test. They, they, he's studying nuclear physics. He's going to be like Scotty on the stars. He's going to be running that nuclear power plant down there and the carrier. He had to go 18 months of school. But they, wow. uh, but they signed him up a hundred thousand dollar sign-on bonus because he's like that, and they, for the, he had to sign up for sixteen years because two years of it school. Yeah. And they ain't even been on a ship yet. He ain't even left nothing but he been in college. He hasn't left the classroom. No. Yeah. He, and he graduates December tenth. Man, we all going. To That's South fantastic. Carolina. We all going to South Carolina to see him, man. Matter of fact. Really. Yeah, we all going to go chill. And that's in the Navy? Yes. Fantastic. He, he, he scored so high, he graduated high school with honor, but he scored so high on that test. And he's a 21-year-old? He, they're 19. They're twins. Nine. They're twins. Okay. But as soon as he graduated, he went straight into the Navy. They, he'd already signed up. And that woman, they, that woman took him to the Navy. She scored so high on the test. She said it, they made him nuclear. That's what they call it, nuclear. She said, the thing is, he's going to have to sign up for six years. He started off an E5 right off the rip because he had to, all his, all he been boot camp for three months. He tested out of all the previous stuff, basically. Uh, look, he yeah. don't even have to do it. He ain't even been on a ship yet, but he graduates. Tenth. What's his name? Blake, Blake Sutherland. Blake Sutherland. Fantastic. And his sister named Brianna. They twins. Blake and Brianna. Wow. Who's older? Like twins. I think he might be three minutes older than her. So well, yeah. It well, was a, it was a C-section, so I don't know which one. Uh, well, they're your kids. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It was a C-section, so which one came out first? Uh, uh, well, who do you tell happy birthday to first? I just tell them both. Oh, must be a conference call. Yeah. yeah. All right, buddy. But, yeah. All right. Hey, I'll be back. I think yeah. one of them lunches, yeah. man. It's like, oh, you do? Yeah, I'm hungry, like, dude. How do you know I got one? Cause I see him. Of course you do. You definitely don't miss an opportunity. I don't. Hey, I'm, no, you spotted me. I'm uh, I'm a, I spotted you well. I come. Out, I know you did. I came out of Walmart just. I seen you that. eyeballing me. <laughs> right. You spot you by the way, dude. No, I, I saw you. That orange hat. Man. You're not yeah. fooling me. It's well, it's not orange. You know. That Tennessee orange. Ain't it? No, it's it's quite yellow. We're Florida Gator fans around here. You, so you're a Florida Gator fan? Oh yeah, I'll All right. All right, Dale. We're gonna have to reevaluate things, my friend. I'm gonna sign off. Gonna see what I can find out.